Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another review video. Now in today's video I'm going to be returning back to the Newcastle Distilling Co. Um, I have been meaning to try and get a few more of these samples done. This is I guess one of the samples that was sent to me from uh, from Lucas Cattell. Uh, so yeah today this is the the bathtub gin. So let's pour a little bit like I said I have been meaning to to getting around to doing more of these reviews from the uh, Newcastle Distilling Co but there's just been so much um, there's just been so many things to like review and to try lately so now I'm finally going to try and get some more done so for those of you who don't know so the Newcastle Distilling Co are located in Newcastle uh, it's a city in New South Wales um, as I mentioned, this is their bathtub gin. Um, it has an ABV of 40%. Uh, it has been, I guess, matured using a combination of American and French oak. And during, I guess, um, the creation of this gin, they have used a combination of 15 different botanicals. So, I have been very curious to try this for a long time now, and I'm finally going to do it. So, enough of my... Uh, enough of my chit chat and let's get into the review so let's see what we get on the nose okay so the nose is very soft it's mellow it's sweet it's got a like a very nice uh, grain driven note going on there there is like a minute hint of uh, like citrus like a combination of lemons and limes touch of like mandarin skin a very light amount of oak I quite enjoy that little bit of barrel influence that it has there it's not too dominant but it's just a nice well-rounded balance uh, yeah just a nice well-rounded balance just to kind of I guess sand off the edge of the spirit a bit of a grassy note coming through yeah it's one thing that I've been enjoying so far from the products that I've tried from Newcastle Distilling Co it's it's the simplicity um, of the style it's and that's and I don't mean to say simple in a way to like put it down it, like there's there's a lot going on on the nose but there's like a certain like elegance about it if that makes sense okay let's move along to the palette and let's see what we get so cheers nice smooth mouthfeel you've got these nice thick legs coming down on the glass there's a, a light pepperiness that comes through I guess at the back end of the palate um, it's not they say the texture is not very thick it's quite thin um, I guess almost watery um, but again I'm getting a nice it's like a nice gentle like breeze of lemon and uh, so lemon and lime and then again just like on the nose the um, those oaky notes come through that just give this a very nice well-rounded balance I'm actually also getting like a like a light hint of apple bit of pear as that opens up, I'm get also getting some orange. So there's there's quite a lot of like citrus variants in this that I'm really enjoying. And then a combination that yeah that combination of like the pepper and the oak just blending through on those flavors is just absolutely fantastic. This is a very enjoyable gin. 
having a look at their website they also do recommend um, i guess trying this as a as a gin and tonic and i think i'm definitely going to have to do that because um, just judging by the profile of this neat as it is um, i think as a nice refreshing um, cocktail i think this would be absolutely amazing i reckon i'm definitely going to have to grab a bottle of like a full size bottle of this to um to keep on hand so yeah that's absolutely fantastic oh there goes my notes Let's put those there now moving along so moving along to the finish again it it's got a consistent flow throughout the whole thing so again expect those citrus notes a little bit of pepper um there's instead of a more dominant uh like oaky presence it's a bit more of a smoky uh, finish coming through from the wood um, so that's a, that's a nice subtle change right there uh, but yeah I'll say I think that's pretty much all I have to um, to say about this gin I actually really am enjoying this a lot um, I'm gonna be quite sad when I finish that sample um, but yeah that's it i'll leave it at that um what i've done as well i have also created a playlist for some of the other products from the newcastle distilling co that i've reviewed before so i'll put a link down in the description and also an info card to pop up on the the top of the screen and i guess as part of the general housekeeping if you're a returning subscriber thank you for join, joining me on my journey so far if you're new to the channel then please consider hitting that bell notification so that you can stay up to date with all future content and also hit that subscribe button as well so all right i'll see you all that's it and i'll see you all again on the next video give this